So this is overdue. Brees Hall officially has killed the narrative that the football nerds tried to tell us this summer, right? Can't do that. Can't trade up for a running back in the second round. You can get a good running back in the sixth, seventh round. And I think that something I've come to realize, I think as we see with trends in the NFL, often the pendulum has to swing too far the other way. It kind of settles back in the middle because it wasn't too long ago. Like there are still guys active in the league who are under 30. Saquon, Leonard Fournette, Zeke, running backs who were top 10, top five picks. And those guys are talented. They've had different levels of success. Uh, Saquon is phenomenal when he's healthy. But I think we would all agree that those were significant reaches in hindsight at their position in their draft slot. I think we've gone too far the other way. Fifth round, sixth one. Don't even draft one. And I still fully believe that elite talent at the position has become almost underrated. And Brees Hall is that completely. He is an elite talent. Top 10 in the NFL in scrimmage yards already as a rookie, six games in, and he's the closer. He's the closer. You're up late. You feed number 20 until the clock hits double zero. And so we've learned that about the NFL. But I think we've also learned something about Joe Douglas with this pick. I think it symbolizes it perfectly. I did not imagine at all the Jets would take a running back with any of their top four picks, let alone trade up a bit to come and get a running back in Brees Hall. Because I had all this history. No, look at Joe Douglas here. Look at the the Robert Sala in San Francisco. It's just not something they do. It doesn't line up. It doesn't fit their trend. It doesn't fit. I am done playing the game of trying to pretend like I know what Joe Douglas' next move is. Because Joe Douglas, he has his principles, yes, but he's opportunistic. I never thought he'd be in on trading for Tyreek Hill. And yeah, in hindsight, I'm glad we have Garrett Wilson, but damn, I'm not looking forward to facing Tyreek Hill two times a year. He's elite. I think what Joe Douglas has shown us that he understood the assignment of this year doing whatever it took, leaving no stone unturned to make sure at the end of this year, we don't know what we have in Zach Wilson because we didn't put the pieces around him. Like what happened with Sam Darnold after his first couple of seasons. With the Jets, even at the end of it, you know, even when he got traded to Carolina, uh, I got some family down there. Carolina Panthers fans were like, hey, is this kid any good? And I was like, I don't think so, but I'm still not sure. They're like, not sure. He's played for you guys. I'm like, I still, I'm not positive if the kid's good or not because he never had an offensive line receiver. His coordinator is all just a mess. And Joe Douglas, the being in on Tyreek Hill and the taking of Brees Hall and Jeremy Ruckert in rounds two and three, and passing over some other needs on the defensive side of the football, it signified to me that he was all in on supporting Zach Wilson with what he needs to be successful. Brees Hall is a great pick, and I think Joe Douglas is a damn good GM. And go Jets.